I was hyped on the NDV3 since they say that there was a profile for it, but apparently there's no profile for the NDV3 yet. But that's fine, it's okay. I got your cover. Hello, welcome to Scratch 3D Printing. This video mainly will focus on the Ender 3 v3 Orca Slasher and the new update that the Ender 3 v3 have. Let's scratch today's topic. Okay, so the Ender 3 v3 has a new update here. Um, it was here a couple of days ago, but I've been postponed this until right now so I can make this video. So the latest version is 1.2.1.3. All that this latest firmware has is optimized built-in Banshee printing. <laughs> so, um, you know what? Let's, let's go ahead and download it. The reason why I say that is if you go to creativitycloud.com, you go to their firmware updates and you look at the newest one, right? 1.2.1.3. Look at the description, that's the only thing, optimized built-in bench printing. And if you look at the previous one, right, it has so many updates, so, yeah, for this one, they only, um, optimized the bench printing, but whatever, it's the new version, I got it, let's go. Okay, so as you know, on Orca Slicer, the newest version, which is version 2, it has officially released, and what they have updated and the official release is the scarf joint seam. They added overhang for the scarf joint seam because um, they say that during their testing it doesn't really show so they just optimize and add that to the newest version and it is officially released now. We will take a look at that. I was hyped on the n 3 v 3 since they say that there was a profile for it but apparently there's no profile for the n 3 v 3 yet. But that's fine, it's okay. I got your cover. I made a uh, Ender 3 v 3 profile on Orca Slicer and I think it's actually pretty good. I have been printing with that profile for a long time now. All of the prints that came out from the Ender 3 v 3 is flawless, it's amazing, it looks great. I will share that with you right now and I will have it down in the description down below. You can just download it, import it into Orca Slicer and all of the settings are there. You don't have to do anything. Once you have that and if you don't like the profile, you can change, you can tweak a little bit like you can tweak little things like the speed and the layer height, amount of infill and stuff like that. But the profile that I have right now is actually really good. Then I will show you the profile on the ND3 v3. Okay, so here I will show you exactly how to import it. You click on file on the top left on Orca Slicer. You go to import. Then you click import configs. And the file should be this. Creality ND3 v3 Orca printer. So you click that. And then you open. Then this thing should pop out. If you have the same name as me, Creality and 3 v 3 then it's gonna overwrite it. If you want to do this, click to yes all. If not, click no to all or just in this case if you don't have it, just click yes all or just yes. So I'm gonna click yes to all and boom. 3 config has imported. We click OK. And now if we look at the printer, it says Creality and the 3 v 3 I also calibrated PLA filament. So this will work with any PLA I tested from slow print PLA to the high speed printing PLA. All of them came out fine. Let's check this. Once you have these settings, you can fine tune them yourself or just use it. It depends on you. I did a flow ratio calibration and mine was 0.98. I also enabled pressure events from a testing 0.032 is the perfect spot. Uh, nozzle printing temperature is 220, the bed is 55, and my max volume metric speed is 28. It can actually go a little bit higher, but 28 is enough for everything. Cooling is pretty much the same thing. Um, the max and minimum fan speed, the short layer time, and the auxiliary fan, which is the back fan of the ND3 V3, I turn it on and put it to 100%. Retraction, I found this retraction to be the best for the N3 V3. The default one was 0.4 and 30 millimeters for the retraction speed, but from my testing, I found that 0.8 and 50 is the best for this N3 V3. And that is pretty much it. All of these, I just let them stock. Now, let's go and check the printer setting. I already set the printable area for the N3 V3. The height, everything is good to go. The machine G code. So if you use Orca Slicer with the N3 V3, you might find that there might be a problem with the start G code because on Orca Slicer it says print start, but on the N3 V3 settings it says start print. So you gotta change this. And I also add this so that the bed and the nozzle heat up at the same time and it will be ready to go. That's it with the printer setting. And now let's go to the print setting actually, the actually the print setting. So uh, quality and stuff like that, I left everything almost stock except the default layer, first layer, all the layers. I put all of them to 0.4 because it will give you a better tolerance overall for the first layer. And it does not squish out that much. You don't have to use a debris tool to clean out 
the rest. The seam, put it on line, contour, and hold. Um, conditional scarf joint, enable that, and stuff like this. And yeah, you can just see all the setting here. You can go and mess around with the setting search to your liking, but I found this to be very good already. Wall loops, this stuff like that. Infill has to be 3D honeycomb. That infill is the best. Speed at 100, 150, 200, and stuff like that. I also added all the acceleration to match the end 3v3 and everything prints really nice and yeah that is pretty much it with all the settings and my profile of the end 3v3 orca slicer does not have it so i was like might as well just make one here we go this is orca slicers v2 official release like i said and what is the change what well, they add overhang threshold for scarf joint seam so if we look at the picture right here right um that is overhang and then the scarf joint seam kicks in but over here it's the normal so it's just normal seams and stuff like that that is like a little teeny tiny updates they made to scarf drum c or the version 2 of orca slicer and it's official release so that's good i love it so much profiles they only add in the 3 v3 se and fix for the ender 3 pro they don't have the ender 3 v3 so uh, it, it's fine i got you cover and yeah, that is pretty much it with this video. If you want to, download my profile of the Ender 3v3, use it, and let me know how it goes because I've been printing with that profile for a long time now and it has been really good for me. And that is pretty much it with this video of the Ender 3v3, Orca Slicer, and profile. And yeah, as always, keep on 3D printing.